First, let's import the file system module with promises enabled and the path module. We're setting the foundation for any file handling we might want to do later, but notice that we want actually be using these imports in our example, as well be fetching data from an API. Here we declare an async function called get server side props. This function is special in Next.js because it lets us specify which data needs to be fetched for server side rendering. The context parameter gives us access to the request details, should we need them? Now, we comment that we will use promise all. This is crucial because it lets us perform multiple fetch calls concurrently. By loading our data in parallel, we optimize the data fetching process reducing the overall time needed before we can render our page on the server. Here we're initiating two fetch requests at the same time, one for user data and one for product data. We're using promise all to wait for all the promises to resolve. Once the data is fetched, we use then to convert the response to JSON. If you have more data sources, you could add more promises to this array. After fetching, we return an object with a props key. The user data and product data are included here and will be passed to the page component. This is how Next.js knows what data to send to the front end for rendering. We close the get server side props function here. So far, we've defined how to fetch our data server side before the page is rendered. Now, we're exporting the page component itself. It's a functional component that receives the user data and product data as props thanks to our get server side props function. Inside the component's return statement, we render our JSX. We create a div with two headings for users and products. This is where you'd map over user data and product data to display them on the page, but we're omitting this part for brevity. Lastly, we close the page component. When this page is requested, Next.js will run get server side props first, fetch the required data, and then render this component with the fetched data. This enables a fully rendered page to be delivered to the client with minimal wait time.